So, it's around 4th of July on the lake, and some, some dogs get real nervous with fireworks, and um, Mike was telling us that uh, his dog, Maggie, has a great way to uh, calm herself. And you know, there's people, you go out, I don't know how many of you use exercise and use sports to calm yourself down. Many times, uh, anxiety can be calmed by doing something active. Well, Maggie has a great way to calm herself down. And she's pretty calm right now, okay. but when the fireworks start, she's not too happy. So, hey, Mike's going to show us how he got her uh, started by using the, um, using the, the treadmill and what, what she does now when she gets excited with the fireworks. Okay, we can, okay. We can edit stand most of it out. We can stand okay, Maggie, you going to go for a walk? Go for a walk? You like walks, don't you? Good girl. So, Mike, she does this whenever she's, she actually walks over to this? She, she tells, half the time she tells me she wants to go for a walk. Or a run. Actually, it's a run. And, and when she gets nervous, she said she just walks right over to this if, like she wants to do it. Th this last week, if she hears a a firecracker going off, she'll come over and sit and lay, lay down on it. Like, like hook me up, yeah. Dad. <laughs> and she's smiling. Yeah, Maggie, that's a good girl. She's a good girl, Maggie. So what speed would you use? She's, uh, her, her cruising speed is 3.5. Her ramming speed is 5.0. I don't do the 5.0 very much. Yeah. Or for long periods of time. Right. You're smiling. You're having fun. Watch out. Okay, and how did you get her started doing this? You know, I had another dog that did the... the you know, I was probably just getting lazy and playing with my dogs. And I just brought her over with a collar, or with her with her leash, and I would straddle her so she's right in the middle. And she's always a daddy's girl. I mean, she'll be around me all the time. So she was there, and I just put it on very slow. You know, just kind of started increasing the speed. And she took to it right away. Wow. Okay, this is cruising speed. We've been uh, about a minute and a half. 4.0. All right. Got to pick it up, Maggie. So, so a lot of you people that have treadmills in your house and you never use them, this is something you might consider. But Mike, how did you how did you actually get her to start doing it? You said you straddled her first. I, I would be on. She'd be right right there. I'd be on either, my legs on With either side. With a leash. With a leash. And you made sure she knew it slowly, and, yep. and then you help her go through it. Yep. So that's a pretty cool thing to that's a pretty cool thing to train a dog to do that. Now you can tell we're not torturing this dog. Oh, well, she's having a This ball. dog is loving this. She's looking at me. She's never seen me before in her life. So this is it's not like I'm here every day. I just met Mike, and he told me about Maggie running, so I had to come over here and figure it out. I love this. This, so okay. we, we're on, we're on, so we're gonna. Well, we'll take her through. There you go, four point five. Four point five. That's the same thing I do at the gym. I start out with a warm up. So you wouldn't want if you your dog. First of all, you got to be careful that your dog isn't gonna fall and freak out. But you want to start out with a no, nice speed and then slowly bump it up. It's the same thing I need to do at the gym. And you wouldn't want a dog that never did it before. You start out very slowly and just slowly get them used to it before you ever bump it up at all. And so I'm always great. right here. It, every once in a while I might go over. But I'm almost always right here with her. And that's great. Did just you, in case. Did you, know. you ever need treats to get her to do this? No. Isn't that great? Her, her treat is this. having fun. This yeah. is her treat. Now, my other dog that I was saying, girl. my other dog would just no, slide right off. Her. She's she hasn't figured it out. Well, not okay. too many dogs can do this. Okay, she's had uh, almost a lap, three uh, three minutes and a half. Let's take it up. This is uh this is actually warp drive here, warp this, speed. We're at warp speed. 
and every once in a while she might start prancing. Not too much when she's this fast. I haven't had her faster than this, so she'll probably she could probably very easily take it faster than this. And uh, during the uh, the Fourth of July, she'll be on this tonight at least once for 15 minutes. And you know, just for you all to know, when your dogs are getting first thing is if they're really getting bothered by fireworks is. You want to make sure you can put them in a quiet part of the house. You can turn the radio up. You can turn the TV up. Good girl, Maggie. And you can um, disguise the sound with white noise or radio or TV and have them shut into a place that's safe. So you don't want them outside where the fireworks is happening. You want them inside in a safe place. Um, if you have a lot of strangers, it's better to get them away from the strangers and all of the commotion anyway. But, of course, Maggie has a way where she can um, tranquilize herself or get herself really calmed down. Another thing, and I'll be right back, I'm just going right over here, you don't have to show me Santiago. No. But, uh, there's uh, a lot of people are using, and Mike's just started using, a thunder shirt, and it's a calming shirt that wraps around you like a, just like it gives you a big hug. And if it gives you a big hug, it calms you down. And that's what uh, a lot of people it's are like using. A, uh, a newborn would be. Yeah, it's like a newborn it with, uh, with a blanket with and swaddling cover. clothes. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's what a thunder it, shirt is. At so, least that's the advertising. Yeah, and Mike, you've started using this now on her, right? This week. And, yeah, yes. this week to get her prepared for the course. So we'll see how that happens. So, white noise, loud TV, loud radio. Get him away from the crowds and, of course, from the damaging fireworks that happens. And if you have a dog that likes to have a little jog or take them for a walk, get the heebie-jeebies out. We call it heebie-jeebies. Okay. Because if they get, they get anxiety, it's always nice to get them exercise. She's still smiling. We're six minutes in or so. And she's on her cool down? Yes. I, I haven't had her on, though she would probably be on all night. I, I'm afraid of having her too long. I, I give her 10 minute walks, yeah. runs, or maybe, I've had her on for 15 minutes in the past. Well, she's still smiling. You know, it's nice here in Michigan. I'm here in Michigan and, um, and visiting some friends. And uh, the in California, we can walk our dogs all year round. But in Michigan, dogs can go out in the snow, but it's nice for them to get a trot in when it's bad conditions outside. So this is great. Have you ever used it like that, Mike? Okay. Well, she... Yeah, I mean, she's been doing this for, we've had her as a rescue dog, and she's been doing this for over a year. Wow, that's great. Does she like the snow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. We uh, fence in back here. We bring our fence from downstairs, upstairs. It's a little portable fence, and just let them out. And, yeah, they, they play in the snow and make their snow angels and everything. Oh, wow. She's just happy to okay. play Well, I'm going to stop this. She probably okay. won't get off. What do you think, Maggie? Did you enjoy it? Huh? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Did you like it? You pulling clothes? Yeah. Like that? Yep. Oh, and a little nip on that face. A yeah. Little bit. Well, she missed she, me. She. <laughs> I don't think Here she meant to. No. So if she doesn't have something in her mouth, she tends to do that. Yeah. yeah. That's her her release is to have something, Maggie. Yeah, she's a good dog. Does she pull on it or? Yeah. Oh yeah. So anyway, so those are Fourth of July tips. Keep your dogs away from the fireworks because they get excited. You can bite at them like they often do. Keep them in a poor place in the house where it's closed up. If they get real nervous, turn on your TV. Turn on the radio. Turn on white noise. Turn on a fan. Um, check on and make sure they're not destroying that room because <laughs> if they get too excited you might lose a piece of a door, the door, a bed, the mattress, a lamp, things like that. So if they're getting real destructive you might have to be with them to calm them down. Think about a thunder shirt, the hug to give dogs that, that, that uh, can make them feel better. But anyway, have a safe fourth. So on the 4th of July many dogs can get very anxious from loud popping and loud noises. It's best to just comfort them at first and try to see if just being with them, maybe put a leash on them and keep them by you. 
and see if just your comfort and and being next to them will calm them down and even if they're shaking and panning uh, they sometimes will get calmer with attention remember panning doesn't mean dogs need water everybody thinks they're thirsty sometimes that means that they're nervous and other times that might mean they're a little painful if your dog's limping and then starts panting that might me not mean they need a drink of water but they might do well with an aspirin if you didn't know you can give your dogs an aspirin that's you can give them one adult aspirin for 30 pounds or up to maybe two aspirins total and you can give a little tiny dog like a 10 pounder a half of a low dose aspirin which is 81 milligrams anyway so calm your dogs first with a little attention um, maybe uh, give them some treats while you pet them to condition them to say hey you know there's some popping going around us but it's okay because they key off what you think if you get all excited and you increase the anxiety by yelling then that just makes them feel worse about the fireworks another thing like I said in the video get them up where it's quiet uh, as long as they aren't too anxious so they will be destructive and get them in a quiet part of the house and uh, turn on the radio or turn on the white noise or fan or all three and sometimes some dogs will quiet right down and uh, the other thing is thunder shirts or just put a t-shirt or wrap uh, something around them and sometimes like they do for babies with swaddling clothes it, that will decrease their heart rate and give them that feeling of comfort anyway will you all have a safe fourth or whenever you see this video have a great day this goes for d d any loud noises my dog Maisie hates used to hate it when we turned the heater on I mean not heater but air conditioner uh, we have an attic fan uh, and uh, that noise would just make her shake but nowadays she only shakes for, re for a reason like big bangs and booms well have, have a great day and check out oh I forgot one more thing my little uh, plug for my book Dog Dish Diet um, a lot of clients are writing me uh, another application for it is if you have a sick dog like say a dog with kidney disease or liver disease and the or older dogs where their appetite just isn't as good as what it should be uh, or used to be you can always feed them the cook up some chicken and vegetables or you can feed them salmon or sardines or eggs uh, and those recipes one recipe is available in dog dish diet and the other recipes are in feed your vet not feed your vet but that's what you do if you don't feed your dog right but you feed your pet to avoid the vet anyway we'll have a great day